I'm Onel Hernandez and welcome to Norwich City Central. I'm Honel Hernandez and welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello guys, <laughs> back for another video and it's Birmingham 2, Norwich City 2. This is my match review. I want to say quickly before I start this video, I am abroad um, in Sicily um, and the Wi-Fi here is dreadful. So uh, this video isn't going to be in full HD quality and I might not even be able to upload it because of the Wi-Fi speed. But obviously if you've seen it, it's been uploaded. Um, wow, Onel Hernandez with a last minute equaliser and saving Norwich's skin really and in what was a very poor performance in my opinion but at the end of the day when you, when you score a last minute equaliser uh, against against a team like Birmingham yes they're poor but you just you just got to celebrate it you know it's a point on the board um, and although we played bad at least we can move forward now and maybe perhaps kick on but looking at the game uh, from an analytical view in the first half I thought it was very slow and I think a lot, what frustrated me the most about the first half is a lot of the similarities from last season decided to kind of pop up again in terms of it was really slow um, on the ball, you know, Hanley and Close are passing around numerous times. There's no energy really going forward. Um, Ono Hernandez, funnily enough, was the only kind of player supplying that energy. Um, and, you know, we just looked very, very poor. We didn't move the ball quick enough, as I've said. And um, if, if we, we just got, I mean, I didn't want it to work with Daniel Farker, but we just got to attack more and we just got to. We, you know, we got to pump more long balls forward and we need to be, have a bit more variation rather than passing it side to side. But we did have a good chance through Jordan Rhodes in the seventh minute, expertly saved by the Birmingham goalkeeper. And Birmingham also had a half chance from an angle, but they narrowly missed. And it was a nil-nil and a really boring first half and it looked like it was a nil-nil written all over it. And, you know, we, you know, though both teams were pretty poor. Um, and like I said, it was very slow build-up and very slow for Norwich. And that kind of slow pace continued in the second half. We didn't move the ball quick enough, uh, sorry I thought I saw someone there, uh, we didn't move the ball quick enough, um, we were slow, we were tepid um, and Birmingham took the lead through their first corner of the game, we failed to clear the ball and they smash it home and you're thinking oh here we go again um, and uh, you know we, we bring on Kenny McLean and Moritz Leitner and I think they added you know a, a big contribution to the game in terms of they moved the ball forward quicker, Moritz Leitner put a couple of great crosses in um, and I do question why Daniel Farker decided to start Tribal, Tetty and Stephen. I understand you need at least one defensive midfielder in there, but for me it was very t very defensive and I think that was probably one of the reasons why we didn't have a lot of energy and were slow on the ball because we didn't really have any forward thinkers and you know players who can play a, a variation of balls. Um, but no, we went 1-0 one, one down and it looked like we didn't really create a lot of chances and then that man, Onel Hernandez, pops up with an 83rd minute uh, goal. Great feet, uh, great energy from the guy. Um, and he slots it in, and I love Onel and Anders. He's, you know, he re re really, in you know, enjoying his time here at Norwich, um, and you know, the really, really good guy, obviously, uh, doing the intro for the channel. What a boy! Um, and it's, it's one one, and you're thinking, go on, let's win this game. And now Hernandez, yet again, a brilliant chance. You know, the midfield in the second, uh, Birmingham were really poor in terms of they let us have so much of the centre mid midfield um, in that second half and we, it was a nice ball to Hono Hernandez and his shot just goes narrowly wide and you're thinking with a few minutes to go yeah let's take a 1-1 one, one point yes Birmingham were a pretty poor team and yes we played quite poorly but you know let's let's get out of Birmingham with a point and kick on but 90th minute Tim Close is caught out in behind goal and you're just thinking oh no it's the same old Norwich isn't it you know we we, 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 we equalise and then just let our, our heads slip and um, it's 2-1 but then I don't know quite know what happened. We got really lucky with our goal. The Birmingham defender slips, and the ball's put forward to Ono Hernandez, and he slots it in to make it 2-2, sending the Canary fans into raptures. Um, fantastic from Ono Hernandez. Like I said, he was definitely the man in the match in terms of he just had so much energy and pace. You know, he wasn't he wasn't he was never going to pass the ball backwards. He just wanted to drive at that fullback, and that's what I love in a winner, winger. Um, but overall, my thoughts on the game is. I, I still think Daniel Farker hasn't particularly learned. We need to, we need to show more variation going forward. You know, um, we need to move the ball quicker. Tim Close and Grant Hanley had far too many touches, and I would like to see us start. You know, Lightning and McLean. You know, I, I think we're too defensive, and we need some forward thinkers and some forward passers. But when it mattered, Ono Hernandez stepped up to the plate um, with, with two big goals, which have left us out of St Andrews with a point. Um, Jordan Rose as well had a big chance in the second half, but missed it. And you know, I'd like to see him. You know, get some goals because he had two big chances and missed them both. But you know, let's let's kick on for West Brom now at home, um, and let's try and attack more, and let's you know let's have more forward balls, and you know just try and just try and attack more, make 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 Norwich an entertaining football club. 
obviously it was very entertaining today, but let's let's you know attack more and try and create entertaining football. So Lewis is reporting out from Sicily, Birmingham two, Norwich two. Ono Hernandez, thank you for saving Norwich's blushes on the opening day of the season. Hey, it's me, Ono Hernandez. Welcome to Norwich City Central. I'm not. I'm Lewis from Norwich City Central, and I'll see you later. I'm buzzing. Let's kick on now. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. OTBC.